That 13 seconds is still for me. Whether it's used or not, that's for me. So let me go ahead and let y'all know I didn't plan on sitting out here today. It is Sunday. Uh, around 2 in the afternoon. This morning when we woke up, we was in Palm Springs. The drive to Palm Springs was ridiculous. The drive home wasn't as smooth as silk. So it's been a long day. Man, came home, both kids were tired. They wanted a nap. The wife wanted to nap too. So I did cardio. And guess where I came after I was done? I'm tired though. We was in the sun. It is hot. My old Palm Springs folks already know what's good. It is hot. We was at the pool all day. I'm probably about four shades darker. And y'all know I don't like to be dark in the first place. Damn. Over the past few days, I've had subjects, plural, on my mind. Things that make you go, hmm. What happened in my mind, that was a lot of flicking right here, sorry. Things that happened in my mind was I've heard similar things over the past, I'm gonna say 48 hours, but if I could just, what's good, man? If I could just reference the past seven days, that over the past seven days I've heard from different people number one that I should be a life coach uh, one of them even went as far as saying I should do seminars and not to say that's far-fetched uh, my my thinking platform isn't that high yet not to say I can't do it but man I, I would want to the same way I feel about personal training if you go back to my big boy pants the same way I feel about that, I would have a, a desire and a passion not to collect your money for whatever it is that I'm doing, to actually make an impact and an influence on your life is what I would want to do. So unless if I feel a thousand percent confident that I could help do that for you, it's going to be hard for me to even get it off the ground. What's good, baby? So I want to ensure if you are going to pay money for me to do what it is I'm going to do to help benefit you, the very least I could do is ensure that it will benefit you. This goes back to my painting a clear picture and not a perfect picture. Because last night we saw some active smile ad, which is the same thing when people do ads for losing fat. When you see teeth, yellow as hell. And then people talk about, I was so embarrassed to smile. And then I got this and all of a sudden, bam! Look at me. And ask me how I got my teeth so white. I tell them I use Crest whitening strips. Not the new Crest whitening strips that just stick to your teeth without any freaking problems. I use the whitening strips that once you put them on, if you do so much as blink, they fall off. I'm gonna use this story for another day because it's not what I'm talking about today. Talk about painting a clear picture. I'm not just saying, look, let's go find a guy with white teeth, Photoshop his teeth to look yellow, and then show you the outcome afterwards, which is just his regular teeth. Ridiculous. I can't do that to people because that's what's going to hurt humanity as a whole. It's selling them fake dreams, giving them false hope. That's when you grow up and you're in this world that we live in because we all live in the same world. You're in this world and you grew up in this world and you're sitting here looking at these perfect pictures and you have these fake dreams and they're giving you this false hope. And then once you realize it's a bunch of BS, then where does your mind go? Then which direction do you head in life? Then how do you feel about things that you see and things that you hear? I can't do that to our children. I can't do that to another human being. I just can't. And I guess the fact that I can say it like that, and I can say it so natural, and I can say it so pure. I could throw supple plan on again. Welcome to my life. And I might just do it just to do it. But let me tell you, if it's something I clearly went through or something I clearly felt or something I clearly have a strong knowledge for, and the best way to get that knowledge is to go through it. The best, let's say person, but if, if, like I said this before too, 
if you want to get information from somebody, you should ask a professional. Because I did with the dude, the cooking dude. And I forgot his name again. <laughs> it shows you how important he is to me. Nonetheless, you know what I'm talking about when I say if you want to learn, learn from the best. So if you want to learn about pain, about hurt, about false dreams, about false hope, about, about feeling neglected. Growing up, there was times when they say uh, your heart's broken or your heart is shattered. I remember times my heart legit, literally felt shattered. This is relationship wise, but it's still an emotion that humans go through. So when I'm telling you that I legit felt my heart felt like it was shattering, I can tell you I've been hurt. I can tell you I felt pain. I didn't acknowledge, because I'm pretty sure it was the same female that last time I said, hey, was rude, and didn't want to say, hey, back. Maybe because she feels she has to be big and tough for some reason. Women, you have the option and opportunity and the right to do anything you want to do on this planet. Just because people say this job is for men only or you shouldn't be here, it's the same way as someone saying because you're black you don't belong here or because you're black you can't do this or can't do that. Don't feel any different. Just know you can do any damn thing you want to do. And excuse me for my language because I'm about to say the A word. And don't be an ass when you finally get the position that you got. Look up. Thank God. If you don't believe in God, thank whoever it is that you believe in and keep living your life the best that you can. Because then when I see people like that, as nice as I want to be and as positive as I want to be, now I have a negative thought. Not when I see police officers, when I see you. That's a side note. I just thought I'd throw in there. I don't like looking at this camera because every time I edit a video and I look at this camera, it's not like we're really making eye contact. It doesn't look the same. Unless my face is directly into it. But I'm not in one of those little serious moments right now. I'm just telling you exactly what's going on in my mind. Plus, I like looking at myself for some reason. Even though I'm grizzled, hairy, with tons of gray. So my age is showing. And y'all know, I, t I tell you time after time after time after time. You know how old I am. And regardless how old I am, when you look at the, the overall features and the physique, I guess that's also why I have a right to, to brag and talk the way that I talk. Tell me I can't. Please tell me I can't. It's eight minutes and 40 seconds. Oh, because, oh, let me, let me at least try to touch on, this, on the subject I wanted to touch on about seven minutes ago, right? I've heard some, oh, the life coach. So I did bring up one. I've heard over the past seven days, I should be a life coach. More than once I've heard that. So now, instead of in the back of my mind, it, that just moved its way forward. Not like, okay, this is the next thing I'm working on, but it moved its way up here. Also, something else that I want to work on, because I said, if it doesn't interest me, same thing, I said in this past, here's a reference. If it doesn't interest me, I'm not gonna take the time to learn about it. And this is no offense to people. And I said, because I don't know you personally, and this is just the way I live my life. So if I don't like it, or I don't care to learn about it, I'm just not gonna take the time. I've had two people over the past, if I want to be technical, 48 hours tell me that's odd. SUV. Looks like the same damn person. Odd. 48 hours if you want to be technical. Random conversation. And just like the way that I'm talking to you now, it's just is a random conversation. I'm not going out of my way to tell you this. I'm not going out of my way to tell you that. And I'm not making a point to let this be known. We're just talking and it just comes out. And when you let me know you're Jewish, I've heard that twice, obviously two separate people. So when that happened, I was like, I knew maybe you should just Google what is Jewish? Cause for me as a, narrow-minded person i guess that's the best way to put it right now without actually taking too much time to think of a word i think when i hear jewish i think of that little yarmulke on the back of the head and that's the only thing that i think of 
I don't know a damn thing. It's, well, colors are white and blue, and there's some sort of star, I want to say, on the flag. And that might even be wrong. That might possibly be wrong. I don't know. That's just the best of my knowledge when you reference the word Jewish. So from that aspect, I don't know. Not to say I don't know a lot. I technically don't know anything about it. If you were to ask me about rugby or lacrosse, maybe those are the same thing. And I really don't know. I know one of them has a net and there's a ball on it. And you're trying to throw the ball into a goalie net. Almost like soccer, but you're using a net instead of your feet. Clearly, I don't, I don't study it. I don't do research on it. I might have seen it. I might have heard it. But it's something that I could care less about. Bagminton. A tennis racket with a, a ball. It has like a net. And you hit it up high in the sky. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm not making fun of the Jewish, I'm not making fun of Jewish people as a whole. But like I'm saying, just the fact that I've heard it twice makes me be like, dude, Google it and find out at least something about it. Because I don't look at Jewish people differently. And when you tell me you're Jewish, I don't think you're, I don't think differently of you. Like, dude, we can still be, we can be best friends. You know what I mean? Like, and especially as time goes on, I would love to know more about it. Number one, because I don't want to be preaching God if God is not your way. Because another thing I dislike is people try to force or put their life upon you. I grew up in Palm Springs. And like I told, I told you this morning, I was in Palm Springs. After we left downtown, because I went to Brickworks and got my pizza. When we were on the way driving back to the hotel, I told the wife, I was like, you know what? And I don't, I don't know what exact word I use. I, don't know, I think I might have said I forgot. No, I, th I think I said, you know what? I didn't realize. And then I corrected myself. I, I said, you know what? I forgot. Because it's not like I didn't, I realized it before and I realized it today. So I def, it's not like I never realized it before, but I forgot how often gay people stare at me. And this isn't just like, you see, like, and men, I'm sure you know, you see a girl walking down the street, you're like, damn. And some men will try to hide it and some men are just like, oh. you know what I mean? But a lot of dudes are just trying to like low key like, That's what most men are trying to do, like low key, just look at it. These these dudes that I saw yesterday as I was walking, holding my son's hand, and my wife was holding my our other son's hand behind me, dude, undressing me with their eyes. You can see it. They make it obvious, dude. Ridiculous. And I was just like, yeah, you know, I forgot because that happened when I lived in Palm Springs. That happened all the damn time. But man, don't force your life or force your thoughts onto other people. That's what that was getting to. So if you're Jewish, I'm not gonna force God onto you. And once I finally learned a little bit more about Jewism, Jewism, is that a word? Let me correct, let me add this on just in case I need to correct it. Once I learn a little bit more about being Jewish, then hopefully whenever I meet Jewish people, we can have uh, better and healthier conversations. And that's what's gonna be about in life, which is helping people understand. And I think at the end of the day, it's all about understanding. And for me, it's gonna be about getting the children, understanding the children and making this world better. I gotta edit out probably a lot because I am a minute and 50 seconds over. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Damn, those are my knees. You hear the crack, 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 crack? Ooh. Ooh.